Hello, hello, it is me, Presto. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We are going to be doing some not shiny hunting today. We're just going to chillax with some Dynamax adventures up in here. And you know what? I just Let's just play. Let's just have some fun. So, I would just quick, quick... PSA here. Thank you for being here. I would love to see you here on more of our lives. We go live 10 a.m. 10 p.m. every Monday through Thursday, and then we also might go live early. So hey, keep an eye out on that Discord, keep an eye out on those social medias, and maybe you might be able to check us out. If you pop in on chat while we're shiny hunting, which we're definitely not doing today, we might name a shiny after you and if you don't want the shiny named after your name you can contribute a name just as long as it's safe keep it keep it pg you know what i mean anyways live 10 a.m 10 p.m monday through thursday we might go live friday saturday sunday too who knows just keep an eye, eye on those social medias and once again i thank you so much for being here scan that qr code down there Boom, 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 boom. Pop in to the community. But without further ado, without further ado, it is time to not do some shiny hunting. I'm telling you. This is this is a no shiny hunting area. We don't we don't shiny hunt over here. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? No shiny hunt. Go run through some Dynamax adventures. Let's go on over. Let's have some fun. Let's see how many we can crack a lack. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're having a good night. Thank you for being here. Let me see if I got my music off. Oops, wrong button. Is my music off? Is the music off? Background music is completely off. But we have sound effects and we have Pokemon Cries. I'm going to turn Pokemon Cries down. Because I feel like in, in Dynamax Adventures, it gets really crazy. So let's pop in. Turn on. Turn on. Okay, so I've been playing PlayStation 2 on stream. I've also been playing Xbox on stream. And I've got to acclimate to all these different controls. So sorry for the uh, missed buttons there. Connecting, please stand by. You're now connected to the internet. Welcome to the internet. Let's go. We're going to start today with an anything is fine. Anything's fine. Let's go. I wonder what it's going to be. What is it going to be? What are we going to see? What is it? What is it? What is it going to be? So tell me about your day, guys. Hope it went well. I worked really hard today, and I'm tired. Look, everybody's dragons, but score bunny. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I had a crazy day today, but it was a very successful day, so I'm very thankful for it. The beginning of the month is always tough for us, uh, but we'll make it through. We, we got this. We got this. Come on, game. Load it up. All of us dragons. We're gonna slay the score bunny. Score bunny's gonna be there, like, what? What? Everybody's slaying but me? This is some horrible choices for the first. This is, I don't like the hor these choices. Cheer him. All right, I can't say the word shiny. That's the last time I'm saying that. Cough egregious is a good choice. Um. Better than Jolteon. Alright, what is going to be the typing at the very end? It is going to be Psychic. If it's Mewtwo, I'm going to be a little... I'm going to be a little sad. Because I can't catch Mewtwo. Because I've already caught a Mewtwo. That was special. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's Psychic... Let's let them choose. 
I chose fighting. Mind over matter, right? So yeah, fighting would have been weak to him. How's the sound listening, y'all? Does the sound sound good? So, sorry I'm on a little late today. It was so funny that the uh, TV decided to be have to be reminded about what HDMI port is actually working. I, sometimes I don't understand. I think some of the stuff works in its own way. Let's do Wonder Room. Why not? <laughs> so, like... Uh, for some reason, if somebody could tell me why this is happening, uh, when I choose in my um, volume control where the sound's coming out, which I usually do during stream, my Focusrite um, box, for some reason it's playing on my secondary display, my HDMI display over here, through that. And like, I could barely hear it on here. But I don't know why it's playing through that when it should be playing through the US. The focus right. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just ch I'm just trying to figure all this stuff out. Just trying to figure it out. I want to let you know. Do you like tacos? I like tacos. Tacos are great. But the best tacos are tacos straight from Mexico. That's the tacos. Taco Bell or any other restaurant you've ever been to. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. Sand Slash. Oh, such a cool looking Pokemon. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't even need to do anything in that whole battle. Nope. Didn't need to do anything. In that whole battle. I didn't do a thing. Not a thing. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought he got KO'd. I could have swore that he got KO'd. Well, now. I guess I did do something. Now he's KO'd. Sand Slash, it's time to shrink back down to size. Gonna catch you in a Pokeball. Yep. Catch you in a Pokeball. Here we go. We've been playing a little bit of Skyrim on this channel. Uh, if you want to watch some of my past videos, I got them below. I also have them on the YouTube. Presto Ernest on YouTube. Like, follow, subscribe. We also have... I'm going to swap him because Coffer just is not that great. We also have been playing some a cute little game called Rain on Your Parade, if you've ever heard of it. Um, I recommend checking it out, especially if you have Game Pass. Then we've also been playing... Um, Skyrim. We play Skyrim. What's the third one? Does anybody know what the third one is? Skyrim. Pokemon. I'm not going to swap. Skyrim, Pokemon. Right on your parade. What is that third one I've been playing? Can't remember. I'm going to have to check it. I'm going to have to fact check it, y'all. That's embarrassing. I'm the streamer. I can't remember what videos I've done. Oh my gear. Oh my gear. I don't want to see myself live. No. No. Ah, oh, Swoobat. Here comes Swoobat in this here place. Swoop down. On top of us. Jack and Daxter, that's what it was. Yeah, so I recently drug out my PS2 Slim. You know, the classic little bitty silver ones. They're like that big. I drug it out earlier, and I got a converter, 
and I'm playing through Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy and so much nostalgia is coming from it like oh my gosh every sound every movement everything is like so much nostalgia all right we're gonna get a little bit of lag here I'm sorry some for some reason when I open up twitch it lags it's the, the uh, 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 sorry disconnection you are experiencing high volume on your stream and you are experiencing twitch is experiencing high volume of customers i'm sorry but you do not apply to premium connectivity swoobat is down swoobat is down <laughs> swoobat Look at his little tail. Looks like a little heart. Oh, he's so cute. Swoo bat. Can you swoo for the swoo bat? What's up, Vanessa Priest? Welcome to the party. Thank you for being here. Nighttime Pokemon vibes. Welcome, everybody, to the live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't mind if you lurk. I don't mind if you chit chat. It's all cool. Drop a follow. Head on over to the social medias. That's what we're doing over here. Don't want to swap? No. I'm good. I don't want to swap. We got Leech Life. That's a good move. I think it's a psychic. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, I can see where they're going. It's dark. It's dark. It's a dark type. Anything good? A life orb. I might take the life orb. Yeah, let's take the life orb. <laughs> you gotta yo yo sometime. Hang on, hang on. I got a hair on my screen. Hang on. I got it. Hair's gone. I need to clean my screen. Like, it's a touch screen screen, but I never use it as touch screen. Every once in a while, the cats will pop up and the hair good on the screen. And I'll be like, oh, no, i got to get it off. And then it'll swipe everything on my screen or either turn it off or exit it out or be goofy. Blue hair, me cool. Where's the, where, where, we can't say that. I can't say the S word. So that, that was a close one. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> what is going on here? Oops. I hope I don't get demonetized because of that. Because we're totally... No sound, no music, no vocals, please. Um, I can't say the S word. We've already said it. Why? Why is Dream Beats all of a sudden starting to get distracting? So, back to my previous story. Um... So, like, the cats will hop up here, and a hair will get on here, or, like, a hair will fall out of my hair or something like that, and get on the screen, and I go to swipe it off, and then all of a sudden, all my stuff is gone, or it's moved someplace in the, on my four screens, um, or, like, something changed, like a setting or something like that, and then I've got smudge marks on the screen. So, here's the thing. If you're going to make a screen touchable, these things right here, Everybody's. I don't care who you are unless you're a doctor and you're just about to go into surgery. These things right here are nasty. They touch everything. Everything. And then you go to touch your screen. Touch the screen. And it's just like smear. Why? Why do you make it smearable? If a screen's going to be touchable, you need to keep it clean. And you need to make it, it needs to be designed to where it, it's okay. And it won't smudge as much. Okay. Rant over. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts about smudge screens? We just got Thiebel. I don't think we've even been KO'd once. If nobody takes him, I'm taking him. Kyle needs to take him. Either Kyle. 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 Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm good without it. I'll let you take it, Kyle. James swooped in with a steal what James 
He stole his thievel. That's cool. Whatever this Pokemon is, I think we can get it. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <gasps> it's Lugia. Ah, this one has yet to be added to my special decks. And I want one so bad. But this is the first Dynamax adventure. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Well, we got three left on our rock move. So, we'll see. We'll see if we can KO him within that time. Look at such a cool Pokemon, man. Like, I hate his name, though. Because every time that I hear Lugia, I think of that phlegm that comes out of the mouth. You know, Wanahaka Lugia. I think they had that in, uh, what was it, Nemo? Mount Wanahaka Lugia. Isn't that what it's called? Lugia was in Finding Nemo, right? Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Going through Mount Wanahaka Lugia. Look at this dude with his crown. Please tell me he's got a super effective move. Okay, that's yeah, Thievel. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Thievel's such a cool Pokemon, too. Nice. Yeah, this Wanahaka Lugia is going to go down pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. I foresee. I've got future sight, and I foresee it going KO! There's number three. Substitute? What? You're just like, screw you, I'm out of here. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, my last Stone Edge. Oh, he's got pressure, doesn't he? Or whatever it is. No! So, <laughs> well, so much for that strat. Y'all, so much for that. Look at Lugia using its Dynamax powers to just, like, stomp us. Use Lash Out. Look at that. Holy moly. That was a heavy hit. Lugia's getting desperate and gonna, ch and, you know, dweeb out and change everybody's stats. But it's not gonna matter because Lugia is KO'd. KO'd. What Pokeball should we throw it in? I'm thinking a Premier Ball. I'm thinking we should put Lugia in a Premier Ball. And... It goes from a Premier Ball to a giant Premier Ball. Then we catch the giant Pokemon. This is the recipe for how to catch a Dynamax Pokemon. It shrinks down into a ball of light, goes into the Pokeball, the giant Pokeball. It wiggles to say, hey, I'm still here. I'm still a Pokemon. And it's like, okay, let's relax. And all the Dynamax energy it dissipates. And it goes back to the regular size so you can put it into your pocket. Correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't Pokeballs, don't they, uh, don't they shrink down even more? Like, so what we're seeing here, if correct me if I'm wrong, is a Pokeball get massive, then get to the proper size, then get to like a proper size, right? And then to put them on their belt, it has to shrink down again. That Pokemon, that Pokemon has gone through some crazy stuff. They should rename Pokemon Sword and Shield. They should rename it Honey, I Shrunk the Pokemon. Alright, Sand Slash. Nope. Swoobat. Nope. Thievil. Nope. And the big boy himself, Lugia. Nope. No. No special Pokemon today. Sad day. On to the next one. Let's do it again. Let's go again. Let's do it again. First. 
I just took off in the crossbow. Whoops. It's okay. It's cool. Let's see what Peonia has to say. Listen, I found Feromosa down in the... What is Feromosa? I'm drawing an absolute blank here. What is... I gotta shave. My... Beard, no... It's... My... My... Air tickle in my nose. I gotta look up. What is a Feromosa? I swear I play Pokemon. Feramosa. Feramosa. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's a little cricket. It's the big old cricket one. I'm good. I don't. I don't want it. Nope. 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 Let's go see what the Lotto ID has for us. The other day I was trading out Pokemon in Wonder Trade, and I was doing it in the water on the Isle of Armor. And this, hang on, hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa now, and this bad boy right here went right up, just, just torpedoed right up to me, look how, look at that, that's a good shiny, that's a good shiny for a September hunt too, you know, for breast cancer awareness and stuff, this one came to me through Wonder Trade, it's a total hack, but still cool looking, doesn't count. But it's still cool to have. So yeah. Thought I'd fill you in on that. Um, cancel. And we're going to go back. Remember, I've been playing three different systems in the past 24 hours. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> so my control memory is not the best right now. I've got to catch up. So let's go to a... Poke Center. And let's go try the Lotto ID. Let's see if my efforts have not been in vain. Have been in vain or not. Onward. Let's see if we can get anything special. Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Try Lotto ID. Alright. And then we're going to have to save. And... Oh, congratulations! That's amazing. The match up with the ID of the blah 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 in your box. The last three digits match. It did work. Sweet. A bottle of PP Max. That's the first time in a long time I've gotten three digits. So it's working. I didn't trade that many the other day. I only traded like one box worth of Pokemon to Wonder Trade. But that's obviously the way to do it. I was researching the other day and I was like, I've never won the Lotto ID. So. The way to get to win the Lotto ID is just to have as many trainer IDs in your box at the same time. So the way you do that is you just wander trade or trade with uh, random people. So it works. You can, If you fill up every single box with a different ID trainer, apparently you can get like a 94% chance of winning a Master Ball. So you can have a gazillion Master Balls in the game. That would be really cool. So you could be like rolling in master balls. Be like the richest person in the world. Be like, hey, you want to catch a Pokemon? Are you having trouble catching a Pokemon? Well, let me tell you. I have a Pokeball for you. For one million Poke Dollars, I'll give you a master ball. 100% chance the very f catch the very first throw. Let's do anything's fine again. I'm feeling frisky tonight. Are you feeling good? I hope you're feeling good. Because I'm feeling good. Uh, invite others. Yeah, we want to put other people in here. If you want to join and you have a switch, we can create. There's Kyle again. Welcome again, Kyle. If you got a Switch and you want to join in and play together, let me know, and we'll I'll put up a uh, ID, and we can just pop on in. That'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. 
What you guys done today? I've worked. I did my morning stream. 10 a.m. We played some... Rain on your parade. Which was a lot of fun. Then I went to work. And... It was a very successful day at work. I'm very happy about that. And came home, ate some dinner, which was uh, a calzone, a warmed up calzone from Mellow Mushroom. Shout out to Mellow Mushroom. And played with my daughter a little bit. Hung out with the wife. And then we popped on stream. And it was funny because when I came in, and went to check everything, nothing was coming through the TV. And I was like, everything's plugged up, everything's got power, what's the problem? All right, what are we going after, hang on. Psychic again? If this is Lugia, if this is Lugia. Interesting. So I, I went to, I turned everything on, had everything ready to go live, all I had to do was press the live button and nothing was coming through the TV. And I was like, what is wrong? Why is none of this working? Checked every single plug, switched out every single HDMI to the Elgato that I'm streaming through, and nothing was coming through the, the TV. It didn't make any sense. So I was like, well, what could this possibly be? And so I was just like, let's try unplugging the HDMI cord from the back of the TV that I'm showing. And so I unplugged it, and I plugged it into the other HDMI port. And guess what? It worked. For some reason, resetting the HDMI port fixed it. No idea why. It was working great this morning. Didn't have any issues this morning. So then I switched it over to the new HDMI port and uh, plugged, unplugged it and put it back into the regular HDMI port that I normally have it in. And it worked. Hi! Stream Crasher here. Say hello! Hello! How is everyone? Say ta -ta. how. Say how are ya? Ta ta. Ta ta. What does that mean? Ta ta. We're playing Pokemon. Play Pokemon. <laughs> Say hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. No. Why not? No. What? No. <laughs> She really enjoys looking at herself in the in the camera. Just like her father. I gotta say I'm gonna give you score bunny ears. Or antenna. We can own this electabuzz pretty quickly. Be the, the, the Pokemon. Yeah, so Pokemon. What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon. How do you keep pressing button? What are you pressing on the on the screen, dearest? Keep making stuff pop up. Yeah. Oh, the Pokemon. Yeah. The big Pokemon. Big Pokemon. We just got. We just KO'd an Electabuzz. Say woo. Huzzah! Huzzah! So, I caught a million Electrobuzz during that one community day on Pokemon Go. So, we'll see. <laughs> so, so <laughs> funny! <laughs> say that's funny. <laughs> say that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the claim because of electric moves. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, String Beach is crushing me today. to fall. I gotta choose something. I don't know. 
of those are good. You make your face it. Are you a dragon? Me? Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a bird. It's an eagle. Eagle bird. Yeah, eagle bird. E bird e eagle is a bird. Eagle is a bird. Yeah, you have some too. I have two. Which one's two. your favorite too? I two. Do you like that too? I two. Show me your teeth. I two. Cheese. Can you show stream your teeth? Cheese. Show them your teeth. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, we gotta play our game. We gotta get some Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah. Which one's stronger? Shield spikes or rock fall? I feel like rock fall might be more helpful in the future. So we'll do shield spike. Someone sleepy. Yeah, kitten. Every day. You want to go lay down? Okay, go on. Go lay down. I'll be here fighting Pokemon. Trying not to get something special. Boom, 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 boom. So I tried posting. Ooh, sorry about that. Horrible camera. Wow. So I tried posting to uh, um, TikTok the other day, and for some reason they started muting all my stuff because of stream beats. Uh, sad. So we're just gonna have to create special TikTok videos where I can be like doing this and then I can just have any kind of sound over it. Fates of Otaku! What's up? Thank you for the lurk. How y'all been today? Sorry I missed you. If you hopped in a little early. But uh, it is what it is. I, I, I had a... I had a stream crasher. I had a stream crasher. Hope you had a good day. Sweet. It's good to see ya. Glalaly. Glalaly. How do you say that? Glalaly. Glalaly. It's Glalaly. Pokemon names are hard, y'all. Ever since Pokemon Sword Shield DLC is done and gone, I get bored on Sword and Shield. You know what? If it wasn't for this special kind of hunting, I probably wouldn't be playing it much either. Already 100% in the dexes and everything, and honestly. But hey, it's one of the only ways you can get a legit shiny legendary in any of the games. Unless you do. Unless you have a DS or a 3DS. And do the, um, what is it, the special space flight in Ultra Sun and Ultra Shield, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, whatever that's called. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's a cool way to do that. I don't want that, no. We're all about KO'd. Thank you for being here, though. We do a lot of stuff on, uh. On this channel. Where are we going to next? Do you have you do you play any Dynamax Adventures, Fates? Ooh, that'd be a cool one to have. That'd be a really cool one to have. Plus, there is a 
backpacker to get something special. What if we'll get an expert belt? I hope we get an expert belt. An expert belt would be amazing. Nope, absolutely nothing. Not a thing. I don't think life orb is a very great. Hmm. You, how many times have you missed a, a move in this game? Uh, well, we'll do life orb. I might be regretting it. I haven't touched my sword version. Um. Are you excited for the new ones coming out? Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Arceus. I did a reaction video if you wanted to check that out. I am pleasantly surprised over um, how nice Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is coming out. But I know a lot of people have a little diss on the effects of it. In a, in a while, ever since I've beaten both Armor of Isle and Crown Tundra. I get you, man. I get you. I get you. Well, if you ever wanted to crack it up sometime and bust on into it and wanted to play some on stream, um, we could play some on stream together sometime. I'm going to be doing... I would love to play, like, Unite. Have you ever played Unite? Um with streamer with a uh, chat I think that'd be really cool uh, and got all decks is complete honestly I'm more hyped for Legends Arceus me too uh, I think Legends Arceus is gonna be really cool here's the thing though I do not know we don't know yet for sure if Arceus is going to be a you know play with friends kind type, type of game and I think if they skipped out on that play ability that that you know major pokemon thing you know battling other trainers etc they're gonna miss out oh you should check out my character appearance i play unite we need to be friends we gotta be friends on unite we can play together so yeah what i was what i was trying to say was you know how every single pokemon game has its link to other to battle other pokemon people or something like that i don't know we'll see there's a rumor about hey by the way blastoise comes out on unite tonight this morning tomorrow morning there might be a nintendo direct on september Ooh, what day gotta keep my eyes open for that so like the next time i attack in this battle I'm going to get KO'd because of my health orb. I wonder what they're going to talk about. Hopefully, I I don't know. They just came out with the 1818 one. I don't know if they'll talk about the, the main hitters. If they do, they'll just give us more information about it. And I don't know how much they want to let go. Eh, Diamond and Pearl remake little characters. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of people don't. A lot of people are wishy-washy about it. I'm like, is this what you want, people? So take that. <laughs> take it, yeah. If you're a Pokemon fan, you're gonna take it. Like that's just part of it. Snap was one of those games. Like the most recent games that Pokemon's like, here you go, and then they're like, money, and everybody's like. This game's okay. <laughs> and then they're all of a sudden DLC for everyone. So it's just like, woo, wee, DLC. Oh, our team, y'all, is looking pretty rough. Of course, it's Pokemon. Anything with a Pokemon name on it, especially in this time and age, it's it's Lugia again. <laughs> this is <laughs> I feel like we're popping in to Kyle's, um, to Kyle's game who can't get anybody. All right, Lugia, I don't think we stand as much of a chance on this one as we did the last one. Power gem, power gem it up. 
Power gym it up. I... I'm a Gardevoir main. Gardevoir's awesome. Thank you for the follow! Woo! Good to have you here. Good to have you here. If you want to, you can either scan the QR code in the corner, or you can go to the link below and join in on all the social medias, too. I'm still... I'm still gearing it up, though, so... Uh, by the way, Gardevoir is a ton of fun in the game. Uh, that was the first Pokemon that I actually bought, was Gardevoir, because Gardevoir's awesome, and if they release its shiny skin... Oh, it'd be so cool. I said the S-word. I'm not supposed to say the S-word. I would be so happy about that, but uh, I main Crustle. Crustle is my favorite, because his x Scissor. And his speed that he gets from breaking the shell. Oh, so cool. Fates, what items do you put on Gardevoir? Because I've been focused on mainly physical attackers. It says special attackers. So all of my um, items, my all my held items are powered up because they're physical attack power moves, etc. You know, So I'm what is a good held item set for Gardevoir? So I can power it up, not waste my lovely power-up coins or whatever it's called. Look at Lugia. Lugia. Wanna hock a Lugia? <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Rah, rah, rah. Go team. Go team. We went into this battle with like zero health. Like, if we win this battle, I'm gonna be surprised just a little bit. Oh, you don't remember Fates? It's okay. I mean, that's totally cool. There's a lot of cool builds. When Unite first came out, I'm not an expert either. I honestly could care less about the um, the main battles. You know, like I, I, when it comes to me being competitive, I have to have a team to talk to and chat with. Otherwise, I just get frustrated, especially like higher up in the ranks. And so I'm really just focusing on leveling up because Unite is so much focused on what items you have, what Pokemon you have, etc., etc., and that is all really just focused on that, the amount of money you have and so even though the game is not pay to play it's pay to get ahead and so I want to get to level 40 and get all my stuff and that way I can really have everything focused on plus with um, more and more Pokemon coming out they're going to be doing so much more adjusting and shifting that Pokemon who are meta right now might not be meta in a few months. And so I don't want to waste my coins and effort into a Pokemon that's not going to be worth it in the long run. So I just play for fun. I, I really just play because it's because it's fun. It's a great game. Fates, what is your stance on Zapdos? I know that's a hot topic. Hot topic. Have we KO'd this Lugia? <laughs> almost. This Lugia is almost gone. What's your rising voltage so we can change the battlefield into an electric battlefield? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Zapdos? Yeah? We got... We KO'd that Lugia! I wish they had a little more boss Pokemon. I agree. I really agree. I think... Uh, I think, like... You know, Lugia would be a really cool one to add to it. Any of the other two birds. For more score ball things. Oh, you're talking about more scoring goals? I really want to see a new play field. Like, the. 
especially League of Legends that's been going on for so much longer than Pokemon Unite. They have different playing fields that have different trails and stuff like that. I think it would really refresh the game a little bit. Come this time next year, though, Unite is going to be 100% different. Like, I'm saying that right now, and I'm saying that on stream. Unite is going to be 100% different this time next year. All right, let's see if we got any special Pokemon. I like Buzz, no. Glalali, nope. Golurk, nope. And Lugia, nope. By the way, Fates, if you are on this stream while a special Pokemon shows up, because I can't say this word, we'll name it after you. How does that sound? I want to see more clothing, new stages, new scoring Pokemon to beat in others. I agree. Yeah, like... I feel Unite's gotten really beaten into the dirt. Even though it just started, and even though they're still fixing the mechanics of the game, it just it's just really kind of... It gets old quickly. Like, no hate. No hate against the streamers who stream it, but it gets kind of boring, you know? Yes, please. Let's go on another random adventure. Anything is fine. Anything. Bring me anything. But. But. Mewtwo. Or Zygarde. Or that blue dog. Whatever his name is. Because I accidentally caught him when the game first started. I didn't know you could battle. couldn't battle him again. So. I can't get their special form. Let's go, Caleb, Matthew, me, and, and, okay, that looks like a funny face. The guy with the water, <laughs> it looks like that side-looking face that you get sometimes that, like, no, no, why am I with these people? I like your name, Fates. It's a cool name. Matthew, what are you going to choose? Oh, it's my turn. Uh, Gorgeist? Gorgeist. Macho. Macho. Yeah, that's what we do up in uh, Presto Ernest. We like to name Pokemon after our streamers. I haven't played Pokemon Sword and Shield in a long while. I don't blame you. Like, there's not much freshness in this game either. I really only play it for the hunting. What are we fighting against? Dragon! That could be literally anything. It could be so much. Pokemon Unite, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, Monster Hunter Rise, and other games took over. Okay, so... Yeah. I Those are some really cool games. I have Pokemon Unite and I have Animal Crossing. Um, when Animal Crossing first came out, goodness, we played it like crazy. My... Animal Crossing is a favorite in our house. My little one loves it. She'll talk about playing bubble gum um, all, all the time. We might do an Animal Crossing play on here if you'd like to see it. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise. I have had so much trouble. Did we disconnect? I think we. I think someone disconnected on the game. That's so frustrating. We're going to have to restart the game. Just let's sit and chat. Uh, Monster Hunter. Yes, so I tried Monster Hunter for a little bit, and it was fun. I agree that it was fun, but it it's a very, like, specific game. Like, it takes a lot of... Oh, hey, they came back. It takes a lot of planning for Monster Hunter. I did a lot of terraforming on my island. That's cool. That's cool. There's some really amazing islands that people pour time into on uh, Animal Crossing. And uh, they look so cool. One of our favorite things to do is go to the Dreamscape and look at what other people have done. And then the little one likes to watch YouTube videos of, of Animal Crossing too. And so there's some really cool stuff. Some of my favorites are the uh, Halloween ones. So people do really cool things with that. And then 
they released the Mario blocks, which changed everything about how you dress up your island and stuff like that. Were you playing when they did the Mario event and you could get Mario blocks, Fates? We were watching a YouTube video the other day and this person had like a shrine and they put lamps on top of those Mario blocks and it looked like floating lamps. They covered it with the pole with, and the block with trees. It was so cool. So what does your island look like, Fates? You said you did a lot of terraforming. That T-Rex Pokemon is such a cool Pokemon. I can't remember his name right now. Ha, <laughs> shame. Shame! I caught a special Drapion once uh, during the Pokemon Go Fest. OMG, I love that eye patch. <laughs> oh, eye patch? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, well, I did just terraforming just terraforming getting all those lovely rivers in line and everything i wish you sh i wish that you could make new outlets to the we're not doing very good in this i feel like everybody's gone i wish you could make outlets to the ocean with your sh with your rivers and stuff and and uh and i'm crossing and almost kind of made it to that one ruby sapphire emerald water island that must be new. That's cool. That's really cool. I feel like this Drapion is going to kick our booties. It's going to kick our booties. Mainly because I think everybody hopped out. I don't know why. They, didn't, they saw me on stream and they are like, Nope, not going to hang out with him. Not gonna hang out with this guy. Yeah, see, he looks really sad in the background there, so. And I almost kind of made it to that one ruby sapphire emerald water island. Are we. Which game are we talking about, Fates? Drapion is taking way too long. I don't want to use my Dynamax Punch because I don't have much of it. I'm currently waiting on Sylveon to make it on to Unite. Yeah, Sylveon's going to be an awesome one, Fates. Sylveon's going to be great. Didn't they say it was going to be a support? Did they say it was going to be a support or a distance attacker? What do you stream Animal Crossing New Horizons? I haven't streamed it yet, but now that you're sh now that you want to see it, we're going to do it sometime. Um, I go live 10 a.m. 10 p.m. every day, Monday through Thursday. Not every day, but Monday through Thursday, and then we'll stream sometimes Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, depending on things. So just keep an eye on social media, and we'll give a shout out if we go if we're gonna go live anytime that day. Um, really, the island that is uh, that we play on Animal Crossing in our home is my wife's island, so it's not really my island, but uh, we can it's it's every we we got some work we can do on it, and we can play it together too. So like if we could do a co stream, if you're okay with that. I don't know if you see her back there. Say hi. That's my wife, Vanessa. Hi. Yep. <laughs> so we might do a co-stream. How's that sound, Fates? And we got another crasher here. There's a cat behind the camera. Licking the light. 
Do you like animals, Fates? Do you have any pets? I'm gonna set up a uh, pet post uh, to the Discord soon. This is Gigi. Gigi hasn't crashed the stream yet. Hi. Say hi, Gigi. Oh, Fate says hi, Vanessa. <laughs> We currently have four cats. Never in my life did I think we would ever have four cats. It's been fun though. We only said, I originally only said we were gonna have one. And then we got a second one. And then the other day, we got two boys, two baby boys. That was one of them. And now they're, they're really cool. I, I like them, they're fun. Cats take care of themselves for the most part good no pets sadly i'm sorry fates maybe one day in the future what is your favorite pet if you could have any pet mythical real etc what would it be i i would love a dragon i would love not a big dragon just a little dragon right just a little dragon just to start off with and then, you know, go from there. Maybe it be a sapphire or something like that color. I don't know. That would be really cool. Because a big dragon would be really hard to hide in society. What would be your pet, Vanessa? Let us know in chat when you come up with it, Vanessa. Fates, you got to come up with something. you got to come up with something. A fox. Ooh, foxes are cool. I saw a video the other day of a fox running around in a house. And for some reason, they had a couch that had a bunch of holes in it. And it just hopped inside the hole. And then, whoop, whoop, whoop. It was so cute. All right. So, if it was legal, I would have a red panda. A red panda. My favorite. Yeah. Favorite that's, animal. that's her Completely favorite animal. Legal. It's a red panda. Take care of it. Have the whole yeah. set up. A kitsune one, that would be so cute. A kitsune Japanese fox. Yep. Yep. She likes uh, red pandas, so you guys are kind of on the same uh, level there. Kitsune foxes are awesome. Did you have a good day today, Fates? Eat more! Yeah! I don't think we stand a chance to get this against this legendary at all. There's no chance that we're gonna beat this legendary. Look, I used all my rock tomb on that Drapion, and, and now I can't even use it on Eat more. Woo! I should have got something to drink before stream. Hey babe, yes. do you mind get me some water? Yes. Does it matter what kind of cup? Uh, just something with the top on it, so I don't accidentally spill it. Okay. Thank right. you. <laughs> Had a little headache earlier when I woke up at 10 a.m. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. Also, I'm specific time. Um, is that I'm central? So is that earlier or later than me? Atlantic. Gotta get out a map here. Where is the Atlantic? Oceans of the world. Ooh, you're in French. Welcome. Sorry you had a headache this morning. Did it go away? I hope it did. Atlantic, so yeah, Eastern. So it's later. Time's weird. I'm a big time. I'm a big time travel enthusiast. So like, it gets to you before us. So when it gets to me, it's later. 
thank you so much or earlier depending on what time it is isn't that crazy okay I was wondering <laughs> I was wondering oh X and Y I finally reached Grand Duchess on X and Y great job thank you dear got this for Father's Day one of my favorite mugs we're, we're doing a brand up uh, brand upgrade in the future once I get a good logo it's gonna go pew, right there Well, that's cool. That's cool. Welcome to the party. We take everybody up in here. Oh, heat more, heat more, heat more. So glad we got through that. Mm. Thank you so much, dear. So I went outside the other day, and it was evening time, and it was right after I mowed. And I got so many bug bites on my legs. They itch. Itch your legs. That's really cool. I've always been envious of people who are multilingual because a multilingual person's brain is uh, a lot healthier and stronger than a single speaking person that's really cool you also have more chances in the future to um, get jobs do what you love though don't don't just fall into a job to make money do what you love and don't go into debt look rock to him again Altaria is a dragon, so. Altaria is a dragon against a dragon is not gonna be good. Kelbs, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you, Kelbs? Dude, we're just playing some Pokemon up in here. We might hop on over to the. Uh, lurking while I go to bed work early but have a great stream dude thank you thank you so much hey go follow Kelbs he's been helping me through this whole streaming experience dude I hope you have a great day tomorrow I appreciate you stopping by that means the world thank you thank you um what was I talking about I can't remember that's such cool so cool such cool people it's good it's a good stream evening. It's a good stream evening. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we have Altaria. That's what it was. I, Altaria is a dragon Pokemon against another dragon. They're weak to each other. I don't think we stand a chance against this legendary when we get to it. We might go one more Dynamax round and then switch to another game. Fate really wants to see some Animal Crossing, so we might do some Animal Crossing. Unless we want to do some Unite or something like that. Really, we're just having fun up in here. Just having some fun up in here. Alright, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Do you like Honey Mustard? Here's the thing. Which kind of honey mustard? There's like a gazillion types of honey mustards, and nowhere is the same. Everybody has a different honey mustard. Honey mustards could either be sweet, or they could be mustardy, or they could be in between. And there's never any one that's exactly the same. So, like, I'm a more sweet honey mustard type person. I like a good sweet honey mustard. I don't like a more mustardy honey mustard. It's a, a a honey mustard. Honey mustard is a a mustardy honey mustard. It's just a double mustard. I remember growing up, 
right? Some of my fondest memories was summertime with my grandparents. And there was a there was a summertime there when my grandmother was just super into making sandwiches for me. And they were primo sandwiches now. My grandma knows how to make food. Like with the sub bun and like all the fixings on top of it and that perfectly pulled I like turkey turkey and like she had some kind of honey mustard that was just like mmm and anytime I taste a honey mustard that, that tastes like that it flashes my brain back to that time you don't know if you like honey mustard oh, uh, fate you gotta try some you gotta, you gotta try every single kind Honey mustard sometimes, like with chicken, I like sweeter type. Yes, yes, we are a sweet family. Remember Fat Pikachu? I do remember Fat Pikachu. I actually have a Fat Pikachu card in my uh, collection. <laughs> my collection. Palika? What? Palika? I did not expect Palika at all. <laughs> Palika is going to kick our behinds. We do not stand a chance against this thing. It's about to be G.O. up in here. Yeah, so Fat Pikachu was the very f first design for Pikachu. And then and then he went to Fat, fat Camp. He went to Fat Camp. Until t Nintendo was like, you're going to be our mascot. You need to get thin. So they took him to Fat Camp and he came back skinnier. With Ash, yeah. <laughs> In eight different regions, yeah. I was watching Game Theory the other day on how old Ash really is, and it's uh, it's kind of funny how this series tries to thwart the age issue with the with the anime. It's it's funny like they they contradict themselves half the time like I think he's like 30 or something like that I can't remember specifics Ugh. I don't even remember how many hearts do you know how many hearts we're going into this one with I wasn't paying attention to the hearts. We're just kind of grinding right now. Have any of you guys ever played the game called Rain on Your Parade? I've been playing a fun game called Rain on Your Parade on stream. I just did my second part this morning. It's, it's a ton of fun. And then we're playing an achievement hunt on Skyrim. I'm trying to get all the achievements on Skyrim. Ish. So. Stream beats. It's hitting it, man. I don't know what was going on earlier. Earlier on this stream, it was playing like vocal music, so... No, oh, yeah. Is this Palika gonna KO us or are we gonna actually KO him? It'd be nice to KO him. I am not a huge. Do I play Smash Bros. Ultimate? Uh, sorry, let me finish my thought. Uh, I'm not a huge. I don't like Palika's design very much. That's what I was gonna say. Do you play Smash Bros. Ultimate? I do play it. I don't have it, um, but I would. Uh, I would love to actually have it at some point in my life so I can get better at it. They added a Skyrim Dove Dova King something me costume. That's cool. <laughs> That's interesting considering how Skyrim started out on the Xbox and now Nintendo's and all this other stuff. Yeah, Dova King. Yeah, yeah. Fusrota. In my playthrough, so like in the 
have you ever played Skyrim Fates? Because I don't want to spoil anything for you if you've not played it, if you're not into that kind of thing. But mild spoiler, you can mute it. If uh, I'll do this to tell you to unmute. Okay. So we're going to the spoiler. When you get to White Run for the first time, after you KO the first dragon, the house Jarl or of of the Jarl, right? His little sidekick doesn't believe that you are Dragonborn. <laughs> and so in my playthrough you could watch the video on YouTube or on here on Twitch. I think it's still up on Twitch. Uh, and it was like my first or second part. I shouted towards the guy. I said, no. I'm going to prove to you that I am Dragonborn. And I went, whoos, right in his face. And then everybody went crazy. Like the whole town started attacking me. I was like, I didn't even hurt him. I was just proving to him that I was Dragonborn. It was so sad. Like... And then we kept getting KO'd. It was fun though. We had a good time. I had to reload that save. I've been dying a lot, sadly. I think this might be it. Is this it? No. We might actually KO this guy. We KO'd Palika. At the very end, we were really close to losing that Palika. That was number three, Dynamax Adventure. Thank you guys for joining in today. It means the world. I want to do some scary games for Halloween. I am not a very big horror fan because I have a very Im active imagination. And I always carry it with me after uh, after watching something or playing something that's scary. So let's see if we get any special Pokemon. No Drapion. No Heatmore. No Altaria. And no Palika. Nope. No special Pokemon. Oh. Alright. You saved your progress. Oh dear, let's throw out space for any more notes here. I really, really don't want to hunt for a Palika. I've been wanting a sh special type of cocoa. I already have a shiny type of cocoa. So. I've been wanting a special Xerneas for the longest. Let's go for Xerneas. Let's see if our fourth Dynamax will deliver. Fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. Oh, Xerneas is so tough. If there's not at least 75% of the team with a poison or steel move, then it's over. You, you can trust to not beat Xerneas. Xerneas is a pain in the booty. Xerneas is a pain in the booty. But one of these days, one of these days. One of these days it's going to bless us with its sparkles. Senpai, welcome to the party. I can't read those kanjis. Can you read those kanjis, Fates? What does it say? What's that person's name? No clue. Have you guys heard about the uh, Google Translate earbud earbuds? I really love some of those. Like three hundred dollars, though. We'll see how lamp it is. It's a bucket list of mine to go to Japan, so I'd really like to understand what everybody is saying in Japan by having something like that. If I'm ever gonna travel, it's gonna be with something like that. What happened, Fates? I want to join. You want to join on a Dynamax adventure? Yeah. So let me get through this battle real quick. If you're okay with that. And then I'll I'll pop open a, a uh, thing. How's that sound? Since I'm digital. Wait. 
Am I talking to an AI? That's cool. <laughs> listen, that was cool. <laughs> hey, listen. Old Navi from the Zelda games. Yeah, sorry, I apologize. Um, definitely. Let's let's get through this Dynamax adventure, and then we're gonna go and create a, a lobby. Man, I'm not even thinking straight. I should have chose a poison Pokemon earlier. Hopefully, I can get this Garbodor. Garbodor is really good against journeys. Tomorrow is tomorrow. It's, what is tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Thursday. Thursday. We're gonna be doing a special afternoon stream. I'm thinking about two or three o'clock until maybe five. Depends. Um. Yeah. Just keep your eyes open for that. Wanting to catch all those peeps who are getting off of work getting out of school by the way if you're on chat once we get to 100 followers on twitch we'll be eating this sucker right here live pocket one chip challenge 2021 I don't know if you can see all of it yeah there you go Pocket One Chip Challenge 2021. So, if, if you don't know, in the back there, here, right there is, here, make this right, right there is when I did the 2020 Pocky Challenge. Now that was something else. Um, yeah. It was an experience, and I told myself I would do it again, So, but I'm not going to do it for free like I did last time. It's going to be awesome sauce. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of nervous, y'all, but it'll be worth it. For So the way the Pocky Chip Challenge works, right, is you're supposed to eat the whole chip and swallow it, right? Chew it up, swallow it. And then there's weight classes depending on how long you go without ingesting anything so nothing to drink nothing to eat etc like that and if you go like an hour is like the the max and you're like the heavyweight champion or something like that and so with last year's chip i went an hour and 10 minutes without drinking anything and the only thing that saved me was boiled custard just drinking that stuff that's the only thing that can turn the heat down. And it's not the mouth that's the worst about the Pocky Chips. It's the stomach. It gets your stomach, man. Like, oh. Oh, my gosh. The strangest, the, the strangest reaction I had to it was my hands went numb and my face went numb. Like, right around here went numb. Not from the heat. And like my hands were shaking. Oh, it was an experience. Ugh. Let me get myself get myself fired up for that hundred follower. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Maybe I can get somebody else to do it with me. Kelbs. You wanna do it, Kelbs? You wanna do the Pocky one chip with me? You could totally say no. We'll have to meet in person for it though and we could play we could play like be pirates again or try some uh no man's sky or something like that vikavolt oh, there's not any of that what do i want as a shiny a mogula i said the s word no it's all right we'll be all right
Yeah, I'll take it. I'll see. I'll see. Lampit was not a good choice. Senpai, don't change. Everybody's taking my Pokemon over here. Hide your kids, hide your wife, because they're taking all your Pokemon up in here. This is such a cute Pokemon. Mogla. I feel like it was supposed to be a replacement for Pikachu at some point, but uh, nope. You can never replace OG Pikachu. Sorry, Pokemon, but you're never going to replace OG Pikachu. Let's play a little strat here. Let's get it burned, and then we'll do burning. Uh, Fury. Or whatever that one's called. Woo! A Mogulus got some heat up in here. Don't use your poison moves. Come on. Save some of your poison moves for the big boy. Whew. Yeah, that chip. After talking about it, it's got me fired up. I'm kind of nervous now. But it's going to be exciting. It'll be a lot of fun. And I always love doing stream stuff like that. Like, we've got a plan to go bungee jumping soon and you could pay a little extra to have them do all the math and everything to adjust it to where your head hits the water below the river below I'm totally gonna try for that yay wait look how close Mogla is to being completely KO'd that's crazy Crazy. They get you on the edge of your seat up in here in Dynamax Adventures. Bye bye, Mogla. Gonna catch you in a Pokeball. Boom. And another one bites the dust. Another Pokemon bites the dust. Does Mogla have anything that's worthy of keeping? No, not really. Ugh. I am not set up very well for this battle. I wonder, can Scyther learn any metal moves? It makes sense. I think this one has some poison moves. Plus, we also will have some berries on the other side, so that'll be nice. Nope, I don't think Politoed has anything good. Darn! I can't go into the battle with Lampet though, because I'm almost out of moves. Oh goodness, and now it's raining. Oh my goodness. Skitter smack. Just gonna keep skitter smacking in. So I picture skitter smack as like a bug just like skittering up someone and just going. And just running away. That's how I picture Skitter Smack, like if Pokemon was IRL, and you said, Lamp it! Do Skitter Smack! It would just like skitter up, shh, 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 and then, and then skitter back. Someone needs to do a video of IRL Pokemon moves. Like double kick would be an easy one. Whoopa, whoopa.
high horsepower. That would be a fun one. Like you have a high horsepower would be like a car or something like that. Like you just out of nowhere, a car just comes. That's high horsepower. IRL high horsepower. I wonder if Trick Room cancels out the rain. If he hits me, I'm KO'd with, with any water moves. I didn't really think about this Dynamax adventure very well. I didn't strategize too much. At least we got a electric powerhouse in the house. I don't know if Venom Drench is going to work, is it? Is it because of the rain? I've only got one move to do against this bad boy. This bad Frogger boy. If I keep him, I'm going to call him F Fates of Otaku. If Fates is still here when we, when we, if we get him. I'm so glad he has not hit me with anything. That skitter smack is just doing barely anything. Another thing. After stream, I'm gonna be watching and trying to finish up the last, the newest season of, um, oh wow, you, you, were, you weren't kidding when you said you stopped playing it, <laughs> you literally completely took it off your console, well thanks for downloading it, <laughs> uh, but I'll be watching My Hero Academia, I've been watching through it uh, after Mr. Kells got me back into it, um, this season is really good. Midoriya is kicking some behind. And I like how Bakugo has um, grown, how he's shifted a little bit. Ugh, Politoed has absolutely nothing. Helping hand. Helping hand will be helpful. Yeah. So I'll take him. I'll take him. I don't have anything else to bring to the to the plate with Lampet, so Polytoad is down. And now we go on to Xerneas. I, I still forget to look and see how many hearts we have. There's that beautiful Pokemon. Ah, oh, Xerneas is such a great Pokemon. Awesome design, awesome like typeage, everything. Like, it's such a strong Pokemon too, which is why I want it as part of my team. I think I'm just gonna helping hand this whole round. <laughs> Who's Gigantamaxing? Please let it be Garbodor. Thank you. It's Garbodor. Ah, uh, we'll see how things go. I found out that the poison moves don't do as much damage. It's because there's no new content on it besides tournaments. Yeah, I know what you mean there. Like, hey, I completely understand. If you're not playing something and you need space, get rid of the thing you're not playing makes sense I still haven't beaten the last Leon battle because I wanted to do it with a full shiny legendary team and this bad boy right here and I said the S word I wasn't supposed to say it I know but this bad boy right here is one that I want on my team. Which is 
gonna keep helping hand in Garbodor. That's the only chance we have, really. I don't think anybody else has any moves that are effective to it anyways. I've always wanted to get into competitive Pokemon and actually go to like a tournament. That's on the bucket list also. Um, both video game and card game. Maybe you guys can help me get there. Donate! Spread the word. Tell the whole world. Unprofessional texting. Oh my goodness! I think the helping hand is actually really working. So, what we're doing, what Politoed's doing, I tell him to give Garbodor a massage. Every single dex on Sword and Shield completed. Congratulations. Regular armor and crown tundra. Congratulations. You gotta get that shiny charm. That, that S word didn't count. I, I wasn't speaking about my game specifically. I hope they don't think I'm a bot. Oh no. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Ah, I got KO'd. Politoed. The support Pokemon got KO'd. No more Garbador massages. No! Poor Garbador! Man! Hey, look, KO'd freaking Mr. Mime, too. Xerneas is no joke in this game. Xerneas is no joke. I think I battled him like 50 times and only won. Like, uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll take your lead card. Um, I only won like. 10 times here's the thing about leak cards they're cool i spent a lot of time on them when the game first started but they're just what in chat yeah we could trade lead cards that'd be awesome i'll take it and we got that xerneas we KO'd it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, we're putting this one in a luxury ball. Luxury ball. Boom. Found out the other day you can get safari balls and some other special balls from the Cramorant machine, but it's like a 1% chance. I really would love a special Pokemon in a safari ball. Like, legit. That Dragapult. Um, we can... We can trade them, I think. Whenever we battle? I'll, I'll look it up. We'll pull it up. I'll pull it up here in a sec. Let's first look at the results screen. Ooh, Ooh excuse me. No, sh no Garbodor. We got a shiny! We got a shiny Amogla! Look at that! <laughs> Fates! This is your Pokemon, Fates! Would you like me to name it Fates of Otaku? Or would you like me to name it something else? Haha! <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Amogla, no shiny Politoed, no shiny Xerneas. But we got an Emokula! Look at that bad boy! Yeah! You just want me to name it Fates? Yeah, buddy! Woo! 
That's how we do up here in Presto Ernest. On the stream. Haha! <laughs> Would you like to give a Mogla a nickname? Yes! Alright, so. Fates of Otaku or just Fates? I like both of them. I like both names. Man, that's awesome. We could always rename it. I'm going to name it Fate right now. Um, or Fate O. Do you want just Fate O? Either is fine. It doesn't matter. Congrats. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, wait, what? I'm sorry. Hyped moment. I, uh, I actually pressed the wrong button, but we'll go change the name here in a second. Right here in a few seconds. I gotta get a photo. I gotta get a photo. Look at that bad boy. He's not that big of a difference, but, uh, it's still a cool one to have. It's not one that you see a whole lot of. We are going to switch it out with Zeraora. Ooh, you had an item. Send Pokemon to a box of this. Wait, what? Sent to a box? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what buttons I pressed. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Alright, so, yeah, it said a box, but it joined our team. That was really funny wording. Let's go change the name. And then Fates and I are going to jump into a battle together. And if anybody else is here, they can join in too. Oh my gosh. That's so cool, man. So cool. You guys witnessed history up here on the channel catching them shinies makes me so happy I live for shiny hunting thanks to king of games 1111 uh, what am I doing yeah well, this guy uh raid a nickname and then we're gonna go down to Mogla It's, it will definitely get a much better nickname. Fate! Fate. Oop. Gosh. My button controls. Fates. Uh... Fates, thank you so much for being here today. This is your Pokemon. You were here on chat whenever we caught it. And every time, every time I see that Amogla, I'm going to be reminded of you. It's so cool. Alright, one more thing I want to do. I want to see this Amogla in action. So we're going to put it at the beginning of our party. We're gonna go to the, uh, a uh, DLC area where you can see it. I don't know why they didn't update the regular wild area to be able to have you uh, follow Pokemon. It's kind of a missed chance they had there. Maybe they'll do it in the future. I always love going here because it's rainy. That'd be all right. My card isn't my main team. That's cool. My my card isn't my main team either. Look at that shiny Amogla! Look at it! It's so cute! Oh, That is Fates of Otaku right there, y'all. Oh, goodness. Here, let's get to a shinier, uh, a brighter area. Maybe it's not raining over here. 
cool. Nope. There it is. We did it, y'all. We did it. So cute. So cute. Yay, he's happy to be on team two. Cool. Are you ready, Fates? I think it is time. We'll go do a Dynamax adventure. So our main team is in lock. Sweet. Alright. Um cursor issues there all right so we are going to set a code what is your favorite number otaku is anything fine okay oh sweet yuki that's a good name i like that name um what's your favorite number Want to do one of my max layers? Seven. Seven is your favorite number. Oh, I'll do one of your max layers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll do anything is fine. And then just so that the world can see it, we're going to do a link code of my favorite number is five. Vanessa's favorite number is four. So we'll do seven, five, four. 20, 21, whoop. Seven. How's that look? So let me put that on chat so that you, everybody can look at it. If you want to join in, 754. Seven, five, four, two, zero. Two one seven. It's on chat. Everyone's whiffing Marnie a little. All right, link code is set, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to invite others because there's a little lag between stream and chat. This is so cool. We're gonna have so much fun, uh, Otaku Fates. This has been a great stream. I've enjoyed everyone's company. Yuki! Welcome to the party! I was hoping you would host, but I guess I'm hosting. Let's dig into it. Let's go. Let's do this thing. What are we hunting? Now my fave gym is now the dark types. Dark types got it going on. I forget his name. His gym type. His gym leader's name. Who are we going against, by the way? So I could choose the right typing. We'll go Scoliope. There wasn't much spread in the choices anyways. Septile. Dude. His first evolution is pristine shiny. Let me show you. Uh... Pokemon Go. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't paying attention. I'm so bad. I'm sorry. Psychic. Now my fave is the dark team. Ooh, that's a good one. Trico. That's the name. Trico. Shiny Trico is an awesome Pokemon. Hey, look at this bad boy. Shiny Trico right there. I was so happy when I got it. King of Games, 1111. 1111, right? Best pal, go follow him on uh, TikTok and stuff like that. 
uh, he had been hunting for shiny Trico since Trico was released, <laughs> and it took him a long time to get it. He caught he he caught so many Trico before he got it, but he's currently trying for uh, shiny Steelix in one of the older games. And it's, it's been a long hunt for him. It's been his longest hunt. So if you follow him on TikTok or on Instagram, go ahead, hit him up, and tell him. Send him some good words. Send him, Drop him a DM. Tell him that he's got it. He's going to get it. Keep his chin up. Grimmsnarl is such a cool Pokemon. Especially his Dynamax version, it reminds me of the that big Heartless from King of Heart, King of Hearts, the very first King of Hearts. I forget his name, um, but that's who he reminds me of. If you know his name, let me know in chat. I'm still looking at that shiny Amogla. I forgot what's super effective against psychics. The funny thing is, is I was, I was looking up, I was about to look that up myself. <laughs> so it depends if it's got a second typing too. Um, Psychics are weak against Dark Ghost Bug. Scolopede was a good choice. So yeah, it depends on what it's second. Maybe it's Mewtwo or Mew. Can't be Mew. Mew's a mythical. Um, could be Mewtwo. Yeah. Could be Latios or Latios. Uh, there's a few Psychic types. So you just did random yourself. That's cool. This is a hunt in the future. I'm going to do one of his shinies. Yeah, Latios or Latios would be a cool part of the team too. I might do Grimmsnarl as a Halloween hunt. That would be awesome. I'm wanting to do a hunt for... Um, I'm going to do a hunt for um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so for September that's coming up, because there's a lot of cool shiny pink Pokemon, but I don't know. Your name's so much cooler than mine, Fates. Executor! Classic Executor, too. I like his Alolan form because it's a dragon type. Question mark? Did I do something wrong? What's your Mega I like your outfit. You look pretty cool. Where'd you get the jacket? I haven't seen that jacket. You got a cool character. I like it, Fates. A lot more creative than my businessman. Alolan Executor's a little weird. Yeah, his design is different. What do you think about the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl ability to change their outfits? Because my thought process is, is like, I don't think there's going to be much customization. 
I think it's going to be mainly focused on um, sets of clothes. Like, if you want to be a rock star, it's going to be a rock star. If you want to be, like, a cutesy person, it'll be a cutesy person. Just you can't mix or match. This Dynamax Pokemon I had reminds me a little of Spider-Man's Green Goblin. Yeah, it does. It does definitely re like look like Green Goblin. You just need the flying surf thing and some... Uh, some pumpkin bombs. It's definitely a cool design. Like, they did really good with him. I wish he was a little more metagame. I wish he was a little more powerful for metagame. But that's neither here nor there. He can't get past good old Charizard, especially his Gigantamax form. Um, his Gigantamax form is really powerful. And popular. I was watching one of the competitive games one time, and uh, it literally came down to who had control over the terrain. And so, whenever Gigantamax um, will go dark, I think dark's a good choice. Uh, plus, it'd be a cool one to have. Uh, so whenever Gigantamax Charizard happens, it uh, turns the place. No, I'm telling y'all wrong. I'm telling you wrong. It's Venusaur. Yeah, Venusaur. Gigantamax Venusaur that changes the field. Anyways, it. It came down to Groudon and Kyogre in the battle that I was talking about. It was good. It was good. I can't... Yeah. I do a little customizing on my character. It looks great. You did a great job with it. Great job. Primo. Oh. Primo. Ah. I'm still thinking about the Mogul. It's such a cute Pokemon. The shiny isn't too crazy crazy, but it's cool to have. It's a it's a good Pokemon to have. Mm. Thievul is a good design for a Pokemon too. It's a blue shiny. I love blue shinies. Blue shinies, gold shinies, and black shinies are the best shinies. Do you own any shiny Pokemon fates? Er, I think my jacket is from that fashion designer at the last location stadium inside. I didn't know there was a fashion designer in the stadium. I might have checked that out. Paid a lot of money for this outfit, though. So I might not have a lot of money <laughs> left over. Boom, going in with that solar beam. Boom, going with that power up punch. Why is Thievel not knocked out? Why do we have to go another round? <laughs> There's no. And I can't even Dynamax because I'm KO'd. No! Okay, so it's not an attack move, so we're good. We're good. Yeah, I KO'd. I KO'd Fates. Sorry about that. But the cool thing is... I'm gonna have full health in the next round. Woo! <laughs> yeah, RIP. We're getting wrecked tonight! I wanna be the very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I will travel across the lands Searching far and wide Each Pokemon to understand 
the power that's inside. Gotta catch them all. All those shines. Gotta get all of them. We'll take the life orb. Yeah, we'll take the life orb. What did you get, Fates? I'm interested to see what you got. You got the life orb, too. And we're down. We got three hearts to KO whatever this Pokemon is. What's it gonna be? Ooh, it's Uxie. Uxie. That one. Uxie's a cool one. What do they call them? The water spirits or something like that? I'm gonna do Megahorn for like four. And I think by then. Oh, you got Dynamax. Never mind. So we're good. We're good. Your Grim Snarl is gonna tear this Uxie up. It also kind of reminds me of Venom. Like, uh, the way that his, uh, Green Goblin time. <laughs> yeah, it's emo Green Goblin. Uh, but the way that his tendrils and stuff are, it, it reminds me a little bit of Venom. Another, he's a very Spider Man influenced design. Whoa! <laughs> That would be cool if that was its uh, Gigantamax sound. If like as he got bigger, he just goes, whoa! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> that would be so cool. It's such a cute Pokemon. Like it never opens its eyes, so it's always asleep. My G-Max snooze attack is super effective against it. Yep. Yep. That dark move. Snooze attack. <laughs> there it is. It's asleep. It's actually asleep. <laughs> you actually put it to sleep. Great job. Sooksy does not stand a chance. Weird. Yeah, I know I'm weird. That's part of the entertainment. This is the weirdness. We got we got a level though. We got a point where we don't pass. And we KO'd the Uxie. I thought it'd be more damage to me. Nope, Uxie's pretty weak. Against uh against types that are weak. Against types that are strong to it. I'm gonna do a premier ball. It's the hundredth premier ball. And swoosh. Swish and flick. So for Pokemon, that's swish and click. I said it right here on stream, that's mine. Swish and click. <laughs> Sometimes it's swish and Swish, swish, and click. <laughs> All right, let me know if you got any shinies, Fates. No Grim Snarl, no Executor, no Thieble, and no Uxie. So no shinies on this end. Did you get it? You got a shiny Executor? Congratulations! Great job! Fist bump through the camera great job man that's awesome such a good feeling isn't it congratulations executor has a pretty cool shiny we both got shinies tonight I'm naming it after you <gasps> thank you so much thank you I'm blushing oh thank you so much 
That makes me so happy. I'm so happy for you. Like, anytime anybody gets a shiny, it's a time to celebrate. Congratulations, Fates. That was great. That was great. Hey, hey, this has been so much fun, y'all. This has been a ton of fun. Swap on over to the big screen. It's getting kind of late here, y'all. Um, I have had a fantastic time. This has been an awesome stream. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the hosts. It's been splendid. It's been splendid. It's been it's a female shiny one. Great job. Great job. Um, but, guys, I'm going to have to go. I want to let you know that... Uh, I need to check the stats of the Mulga real quick, so let's go back. Sorry. I know I was about to sign off. Let's check the stats of the Mulga. Psycho Cut, Solar Beam, Stomp, Tantrum, and Terrain Pulse. Um, I'm not getting off yet. Um, I'm going to look at the uh, Mulga. Fates of Otaku. There it is. Check summary. We got... Acrobatics, Rising Voltage, Endure, and Electroweb. The classic Electroweb that Pikachu always has and uses some really cool... It's somewhat vain and bashful. That's a weird... That's a weird combination to have. So, but yeah, I'm so sorry, Fates. I would love to continue playing some more. I've got to get up early tomorrow and do some stuff. Uh, but I have had a fantastic time hanging out with you. Thank you so much. I've had a fantastic time hanging out with everybody here on chat. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you again. Um, oh, yeah, what is it? What is what is Amolka's ability? Static. The Pokemon is charged with static electricity, so it may con so contact with it may cause paralysis. That's a good that's a good move. And it's almost max Dynamax. Great! Good thing it's easy to get some Dynamax candy so you can power it up. And it's gentle. It's a gentle green goblin. Who would have thought? In fact, chat looks like... <laughs> chat kind of looks like... Your chat kind of looks like green goblin. It's orange and green. <laughs> so, I want to let you know we go live 10 a.m., 10 p.m. every Monday through Thursday. We might go early. We might go... Um, yeah, we might go on live friday saturday and sunday too so just keep your eye out follow us on all the social media links discord instagram facebook tiktok um they're all still kind of getting up there like i'm still working on them so um just hang in there they'll get better you can also scan the qr code right down here uh if you can't get to the link but uh i'd love to see you there in discord fates and anybody else who's around so thank you for the follows thank you for the likes thank you for the comments and for the fault the host yeah kelps thanks for that dude that's that's really awesome so fate and everyone else i hope you have a fantastic night and a fantastic day tomorrow um I wonder why our characters don't feel sweaty and cold. They're superhumans. They're 10 year olds that live forever. So they're superhumans. That's what it is. If you're going to be a trainer in this world, you can't feel sweaty and cold. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks for being here while well, we caught the shiny Amogla and Fate's got the shiny Executor. Yeah, that was so much fun. Guys, it's been fantastic. I hope to see you again. Have a fantastic night. Peace out and party hard.